Hey guys, welcome to another video. <clears throat> Again. Uh, why not? Um, so in the re uh, second video on my channel, with the... It's the wrong one. That. Traxxas Slash 4x4. I made a video on that. On that. Right there. Um... Mine's been torn apart, it's what you saw in the last video. It's put back together. The only issue is I can't run it right now, because uh, it's got an issue. It's got a bearing out, so it moves side to side. Do you see it? It's not supposed to do that. It's not supposed to move, it's supposed to stay straight. It moves in all general directions. That's bad. So you have to take it apart. And this costs like $70. Just this piece right here. That's, it's torn apart. Um, I do have, I wanted to just show you guys some of the upgrades that are smart. Smart. To get. And ones that, to not get. Um, so I guess let's get started on that. So first, um... First upgrade you should get. So if you go in here in our magical bag of happiness. How did I close this? I use my other hand. Maybe. Hmm. Take it. I'm going to dump it out. Um, First upgrade. That's right. It's not even in there. It's in here. One of the first upgrades you should get is a bag or a set of 60, what, what is, gear, 54 tooth, 32 pitch rally gears. That's all that. I got them on Amazon. Um, a lot of this is from Amazon. Get that first because that goes like right here. That's right here. And this gear here, it's me this is metal. That's plastic. They run together, and this will strip out that gear. I have some of those. Not in here, though. Somewhere, I think. Um, second, <clears throat> second, very smart upgrade, shock caps. These are the old shock caps. These are the new ones. Every time you jump, they will pop off, and then this goes <clears throat> everywhere. It's not fun. Stick. Third is I need to grab it up. <clears throat> it's somewhere abyss. Oh, here it is. Let me move my cover. That over there with the batteries. Drive shafts. These are plastic. Plastic sadness. Which one is broken? This one? Yes, this one. See that? It's broken. It's supposed to look like that. Put it out. It's supposed to look like that. But it looks like that. It's broken. And then I decided to get these for $30 each. These two, <clears throat> two of them are $30. The other two are another $30. One, don't buy them. The crap. First thing, that, first thing that came off, that spring that sits right there. That spring came off the first time I ran it, so I had to zip tie it and create my own pin. Because there's a pin in there. Those are trash. Absolute trash. And they're off balance. I don't know if you know what off balance means. But this side, this they wiggle around. They have some play in them. That's how much twist they have. Look at the twist amount. That doesn't move. Look at how much that twists. I can't do that. Because they are not one piece. Not two pieces. Three pieces. And this sits in there. In there. And that, 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 that's bad. So... If you have some money lying, I'm assuming you have money lying around if you're able to afford all the other stuff, because it's expensive. Get metal, real Traxxas metal drive shafts, or CV shafts to be exact. Those are these. 
Two of them, 60 to $70. Four of them, you're talking about 100 some. Because I don't know math. <laughs> you, you, I just can add that up. And you're, if you have a 4x4, four four, one, two, three, four, and all four wheels move, um, you have to get front, you have to get front and rear. There's a difference. I. Uh, doesn't look like I have any rear because... Oh, yeah, right here's a front. See how the front has that lip there? And this one does not. See how there's a lip on the front? They're exactly the same. This one doesn't have a lip. This one does. This one just angles down. So there's that. Um, you should probably get a bearing kit. Kit of bearings. $20 on Amazon. Um, these. These, these, these. These are the wheel, wheel nuts. They go right there. Mine are blue. Mine are really fancy. Um, but get, get some of those. Um, that's just from the shocks. Hexes. Metal hexes. Plastic will strip. Because that's how plastic works. I have metal ones, but just these ones are bad. Um, I should have a stripped one in here, I think. Um... Oh, uh, that one's, that's what it looks like fresh, that hex right there. And I hope I have one that's not, I don't think any of these are stripped. Oh yeah, this one's pretty stripped. You can see how that used to not be a hex, it's not a hex anymore. Compare them, look at them. Look at that one, and then look at that one. Look at the difference. There's a difference. And when they're stripped like that, this, the tire will fall off of, the hex, and then you'll lose this. You'll lose, because that twists that off. And when you lose that, you'll lose this, and you can lose that. And then you've lost two things that you have to buy, because you only get a set of four unless you get more. I had a whole bunch extra. I had a couple extra, and I actually went through them just because this thing was happening. So I ordered Amazon tires. These are $32 for, I believe, four of them. And they have a nice bead lock, and I haven't had a single issue with these once. The same tire tread, as you can see. They're just the BF, BF Goodrich. Bacon Friends Forever. I have no clue. There's some ad on Wendy's. Is it? I put my tires in there. Um, When it was torn apart, I got Trexus Diff Lube 30 30K weight, 30,000 weight. I also got shock oil, 30 weight shock oil, that's what the hobby shop said, and then tire glue, you should get tire glue, this happens, life happens, and that, that's, that's not supposed to be like that, if I turn it, it it's messed up, right there, I need, I'm gonna have to glue it sometime, forget which one has it. Yeah, as you can see on, that's not it, this one, yes, this one, it's glued, right around there, it's it's all glued, and it's not even glued properly, because I had to cut it, you can see how it pushes down, it's not supposed to do that, but if you're, if you buy a set of tires, and buy a set of rims, like this, these are just, um, what are these? Oh, these are Pro-Line. Pro-Line pro rims. Baggy for all that. Bagger. Um, buy tires. Doesn't matter what tread. I suggest a r rough tread. Because if you use paddle tires, the, these things will strip. Because the motor is on a sliding that slides. The motor slides and doesn't have holes to go in. When it slides, it can slide out, and then this gear skims this, but it's not able to move it. And all you'll hear is like, <laughs> and it's all you hear. And you continuously hear that until your gear looks like it's you took it to sandpaper constantly and just continued to do that. This does have a slipper clutch in it. It's in here. It's in... <sighs> It's in that general area. It's just a slipper clutch. But you'll, if that's not adjusted right, you'll hear a... You know, right when you take off. Um, 
journey. I do have a... This this is another very smart upgrade. Traxxas Sway Bar Kit. Steering Sway Bar. If you want it... There you go. I don't know if it says in the front. Oh, yeah. 6898. You can take that. Put it in. If you have a Traxxas Slash... You can put it on the back and on the front, and it will let this, see how far up that lifts? That would lift up a, see, that's as far as it wants to lift. Otherwise, it would lift up the whole way, and when it turns, it would, it would all lean to one side and all bend and then roll, where this does not let it one side lift up. Either they both lift up or they don't lift up, but it does have some play in it so that your one tire can move up and down because you still have suspension. It does come with stronger, stiffer ones. This is the Trexus Slash is a short course truck or a race truck for a track, a dirt track. You can get low GC bodies, oh, low CG bodies, low center of gravity bodies. I mean bodies, uh, frames. This thing is it crack? Oh, I hope not. For that, um. And then that's what these would be for, for like your racing. And that would help so you, when you come into a turn, you don't lean and flip. Um, <clears throat> I got this body. You've probably seen it. You might not have. Don't mind the bare paint. I spray painted it with spray paint, not RC body paint. So spray paint, it just flakes off after flexing. The spray paint isn't, isn't made to flex. This is the original body. It's pretty rough. It's muddy. Um, it's got cracks right here. You can actually probably see better on the inside. Yeah, you can see all the cracks in the back. So th this body itself probably costs around $60. But this came with the Slash almost pretty much for free. You're not really paying for this when you buy that. You're more paying for all the electronics and tires. Everything on that is mixed in with it. Um, I got that. I have holes in it because I have a front and rear light kit that plugs in with just your normal Traxxas plug-in. This is a two-port, actually three-port. Um, I have underglow kit, kinda, that doesn't actually fit because the quarter do is not long enough to go underneath it. And I also have a light bar, a Traxxas TRX Four light bar. So that's a crawler. Ah! It's got the exact same connector. That is a very bright LED light. America. What's the point of that? Mm, put that in there. Um. I, oh, and I gotta show you Frightening McMean's body. I took Lightning McQueen that we found in the Erie Canal and cut it out. You can see it's cut there. It's cut back here. It has holes drilled in it. And it fits on that. Like, really good now. Kinda. No, not really. If I line it up with the hole, with the pin holes. Well, look at that. Kinda fits. Kinda doesn't. <coughs> it's not bad. It really isn't, but it's, it only hooks on in the front. <clears throat> this is a fox body, F-O-X. Fox shocks. It's not the, ch the TV channel, Fox. That's the shock company. All the bodies. Um, what was it? What else? Oh, I did get a ProLine extension kit. So, see these extend? The old ones look like this, where the new ones are extendable. And the new ones have these twist-on, twist-off caps. That's what it looks like. Just a twist-on, twist-off. It just screws on to the, to the shock tower. We go in here. Um... Here they are. Here are the other, the front ones. 
gear you're what they used to be connected with, what the old body posts they're just called they're just called body pins, and everyone says that they're either really bad or really good. I'd say I don't care because you can buy a a pack of three of them, a pack of fifty of them. Uh, oh, where'd it go? Oh, see, pack of fifty of them for a pretty low amount of money. I think I got those for like less than five dollars. I think. Um, what else do I get? Oh yeah, this is the old one. It's the old front. Um, oh yeah, here's what it looks like stripped. That's what the gear looks like stripped. It's all flat and rounded off. This one's not terrible. Um, what else? Uh, needle, poker, poker. Oh, yeah, I did get a center drive shaft that goes in, in here. Because mine's bent. If it sits... See, there's a gap there. There's a gap. It's gone. It's there. It's got a bend to it. Can't see. Um. No, you can run this on an NMC nickel metal high drive battery. Just a nickel metal high drive battery. That you can run it on. It goes way slower. I run mine on. This is a. Ah! This is a 500 milliamp 2 cell or 2S lipo. I don't know what S stands for. That's 2S, and this is for, like, grass. And grass has, <laughs> like, legit soft surfaces. And this is a 3S. 3-cell. They're both 500 milliamp, because that's what this can take. And VXL 3S. So I can use a 2S, 3S. Um, I can use a nickel metal high drive on this. It doesn't care. It can do it. Um, I do charge it within Traxxas Easy Peak ID. Get the ID. Get one of these, because this stops overcharge. This is around, oh, uh, what was this? I think this is like 90 to to $100 right here. Or you can get a single port. It's only like, it costs like $60. So you can spend another 20, 30, 30 to $40 to get a double, dual. Because that's pretty nice. It's like really nice. Um, this I got from the hobby shop called, uh, oh, Fields Hobby. It's over by the Galleria Mall, depending on where you're listening and where you're at. It's over by Buffalo. Yeah, I think you know where that is. It's over by the Buffalo Airport, okay? Just look it up. And you can get everything you need there. If you want to bring your truck in, bring it in. They will fix it. They will tell you what to do. You may not understand the pure, okay, pure size of this by my hand. Okay, my hand kind of gave it away. Uh, normal roll of paper towels. That's it's big. This isn't even the biggest one that company Traxxas makes. No, no, no. I better put these in here. If you were to get a lipo bat, if you if you have lipos like these. Get what's called a lipo bag. This is fireproof and explosion proof. These will catch fire, throw sparks, and start a house on fire. It's happened many, many, many times to other people. So get one of these. It looks like made of duct tape. It's not. It's made of, what is this? It's Forge and Mount Lipo Safe. I think this is Amazon. There you go. You can read all that. This stops overcharge. Overcharge is just when the battery is overcharged and it could die and be killed. I did get on Amazon a cover for the track for the slash. It just goes over the slash and it's to stop mud from getting in here. No, I didn't use it last time, that's why this is all muddy. Sorry. Um So yeah. Anything else I'm missing? Um, I do still have coming a what's called the Traxxas Slash Toolkit. It's just a kit of tools instead of having to use these dumb Allens. These are very hard to use. Um, so yeah, um, I am posting a video here in like another... I don't know when. But it's on Sketchshaw 2.0. Don't ask, you'll find out in the next video. So yeah, 
Oh, speaking of which, I got this roll cage. I got a roll cage. I just noticed that. Roll cage tracks a slash. <clears throat> the roll cage goes on like that. It's what it looks like. About. It's what it would look like. And then you put this body, the fox body, that body on top of it. And it's to stop that body from, from crushing. It'll crush, and it'll be all bent. It might even just shatter. Like it's already been doing. That's because of rolling and hitting the top. And the first time I used this. Funny story. First time I used this. I hit a bump. <clears throat> and it turned sideways. Whacker dude. Right onto a, uh, onto a wooden post. That's why it's bent right here. It hit like it pushed all this off. It pushed all this down. I tried to bend it as much as possible. You can even see from like right there. Right there pushed down. So Yeah. Um, that's that. Some other people have other things they upgrade. This is so far what I have upgraded off to update you and more. Once I get it up and running, which I want to try to look at what's wrong with this, beside the bearing, I already know that. I hope I don't have to pay, like, $70 for another motor. <laughs> this is all Christmas money. And selling money. Yeah, so... Yeah, well, there's that. Um, hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed it. Because why not? Um, America. Yeah, see you in the next video. Um, I'm going to try to get that running as soon as possible. And then I'm going to make a video on it running and moving. It goes, I never showed you this. I never showed you this. This is a 13 tooth gear. It has got no 13 there. Focus. Thirteen. Thirteen tooth. So it goes forty five mile an hour. Where the top if you could take a nineteen tooth gear, this little gear that goes in the motor, it goes sixty mile an hour. And you can actually go faster than that. It's just not ideal. Cause you'll you can overheat the motor. Alright, now it's time to head out. Alright, see you then. See you there. And bye.